All right, I've got two cahoots to do. So it's 126 4A. Where's the mnemonic? verb part is the mnemonic, okay? Yeah, you, 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 this is not a command. You need the move, all right? All right, so what language does the processor use? Code. That's all the processor knows. All right, so what utility converts a high level program into an executable program? That's what compilers do. Good. All right, what's the most common type of assembly language for malware? X86 is what they call 32-bit code. Some of it's 64-bit, but most of it's 32-bit, at least as of the time your textbook is written, and I think it's still true. All right. Where are the local variables stored? On the stack? Good. All right. So we record the winners of this, and there's another one. All right. And finds one twice. All right, and there's one twenty six four B. Start, I say. There we go.
All right, so what does that instruction do? That's it, indirect addressing. EBX is interpreted as an address and the data at that location is put in EAX, good? All right, what command retrieves data from RAM? This one moves data from RAM. This one just copies the address. It just calculates EDX plus 16 and puts it there. It doesn't actually go to RAM. This is the one that goes to RAM. Some like address pointed to by EAX. All right, what command changes the size of the stack? To push EDX pushes the 32-bit value EDX onto the stack and it decrements ESP by 32 to, uh, well, by 4, for 4 bytes. So it makes the stack frame bigger. All right. All right. What instruction is repeated many times in buffer overflows? Knop to make the knop sled. All right. All right. What command retrieves data from the stack? Pop takes the top word off the stack, putting it in somewhere, and shrinks the stack. All right. Okay. Okay. Done twice. Good. All right. So, that's it for that. Let me stop this recording and make a separate one to demonstrate the project.